Hi, third graders. This is Mrs. Oyster, and today I want to do a quick review about um, a review of the concepts and skills that we've been practicing in our geometry unit. So this video is meant to be watched before you do the test, just to refresh your memory of all the things you've learned. So let's start by talking about polygons. What are polygons? And polygons, if you remember, are shapes with closed shapes with straight sides and they have to have three or more straight sides and angles okay so let's take a look here at these shapes which of these are polygons is this one a polygon does this have is it a closed shape with straight sides yes it is so we're going to call this one a polygon oh doesn't really want to draw for me that's okay i'm going to try something here we go, I think this might work a little better. Okay, let's see. Is that circle better? Yeah. All right, that's all right. We'll make it work. Okay, how about this guy right here? Is this a polygon? No, it's not. Think to yourself, why is it not a polygon? Because it does not have straight sides. This is a curved shape. So this is not a polygon i'm trying to exit off okay there we go how about this one here is this a polygon yes it is it is closed shape with straight sides how about this one here is this a polygon no not the rectangle part that is but this little scribble inside that is not a polygon because it's not closed and it also it does not have straight sides so I'm gonna X that one out. Okay, let's move to this guy right here. Is this a polygon? The answer is yes, it is. Even though it's kind of an odd shape, it is a closed shape and it does have straight sides. So this one is a polygon. How about this? No, why not? No straight sides, it's curved. And how about this one here? Yes, this is a polygon because it is a closed shape with straight sides. All right, so now we know what polygons are. Let's talk about specific kinds of polygons. What is the name of this shape here? Oops, 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 sorry about that. What is the name of this shape? Well, in order to name it, we need to know how many sides and how many angles it has. So I'm gonna count, let me grab my pointer. As one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and how many angles? One, two, three, four, five, six angles. So a shape that has six sides and six angles is called a hexagon. So this is a hexagon. How about this one up here? What's the name of this shape? Well, let's count the sides. One, two, three sides, and how many angles? One, two, three angles. So this one is called a triangle. And then all of these have one name. Now they all have separate names as well, but there is one name, one word that can describe all these shapes. They have one, two, three, four sides. All of these have four sides. So all of these shapes are called quadrilaterals. Okay, so one of the things we really worked on was describing the attributes of polygons and using geometric vocabulary in order to describe shapes. So I wanted you to be thinking about things like this. How many sides are there? What's the number of sides? What's the number of angles? Are there any pairs of parallel sides? Remember, that means that the sides are the same distance apart forever and ever. Are there any equal sides? And if so, how many? Are two of the sides equal? Are all four of the sides equal? And then how many right angles, if any, are there? Is there one right angle, two right angles, four right angles? So these are the vocabulary terms I want you to be using when you are describing the attributes of polygons. So let's practice. Okay, so let's describe the attributes of this quadrilateral here. Well, I already said that it's a quadrilateral, so we already know it has four sides. So I'm not going to say it has four sides because it's right there in the question that it has four sides. Um, let's see. Does it have any right angles? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to write no right angles. 
that's going to be one of our attributes. Okay, so I'm going to put that right over here. No right angles. What else could we say about it? Does it have any pairs of parallel sides? Hmm, well, these two sides appear to be parallel, and the top and bottom appear to be parallel, so we're going to say that it has two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, let's put that one over here. Hmm, what else? What else? Does it have any equal sides? Well, yeah, these two are equal, and these two are equal. So we'll say opposite sides are equal. All right, anything else? Unfortunately, I can't hear your answers, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. There probably are more we could write, but I'm going to go ahead and stop there. So the attributes of this quadrilateral, there are no right angles. There's two pairs of parallel sides, and opposite sides are equal. All right, thanks for helping with that one. Let's try with this shape right here. What are the attributes of this quadrilateral? Well, does it have any right angles? Yes, it does. It has four right angles, actually. All right, what else? I don't know if I can't move this. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Four right angles. Does it have any pairs of parallel sides? Well, the top and bottom appear to be parallel, and the left and right appear to be parallel. So I'm going to write two pairs of parallel sides. All right, okay, what else? Does it have any equal sides? Yeah, similar to the other one, the opposite sides are equal. So I'm going to put opposite sides are equal. Okay, anything else we can say about this? I think we've got most of it. We already know it has four sides because it tells us that in the question. We know it has four right angles. Opposite sides are equal in two pairs of parallel sides. So this actually is a rectangle. Okay, so let's try one more activity. Take a look at these two shapes here and let's discuss how they are alike and how they are different. Well, how they are alike, they both have four sides. So I'm going to put that in the alike side. I'll take my little sticky note and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, what else? Let's see. Ooh, this has four equal sides and this has four equal sides. So I'm going to add that to my alike side. They both have four equal sides. Put that one over here. Huh. Oh, I see another one. They both have two pairs of parallel sides. Two pairs of parallel sides. So I'll put that one over here. Okay, so how are they different? There's a lot of things to like about them, right? They both have four sides. They both have four equal sides. They both have two pairs of parallel sides. There is a thing that's different, though. This shape right here has four right angles. This one has four angles, but they're not right angles. So I'm going to say... One has four right angles and the other does not. Oops, does not. Okay, nice. So, bonus point. If you can tell me what the names of these two shapes are, this one is a square and this one is a rhombus. All right, well, I hope this short review helped you refresh your memory about geometry. I'd like you to head over to the Google Doc and complete the geometry test um, and submit it to me. All right, thanks, guys.